It's the final mission. Oh my god, you guys, there's some weird thing that keeps flashing there that I don't have time to read. This is Dead Knight, Sweet Delight. Tell us something good to bite. There's two versions of this. It's pretty weird. There was, well, I mean, there was the original 1.0 for Thief Gold, and then there was presumably 1.0 for Thief 2, which I don't even know what the difference is. And then there's 1.1 for Thief Gold, but there was no 1.1 for Thief 2, so since the version number's higher, I guess I'm just playing the Thief Gold version? Question mark? Okay, so this story is fairly, like, long and stuff, but I guess the gist of it is I'm looking for the Gem of Lost Souls in a cemetery where there may or may not be zombies and I have to find a guy called Ethan. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Delicious. Because I guess zombies are good to eat. Was there supposed to be a movie there? No, no, I guess not. I don't know why I thought the Wait. Oh, wait, I, I chose training, did I? There was supposed to be a movie there, but they didn't work again for some reason. But anyway, this is the right thing. <laughs> Thief Gold has that blasted training thing. Anyway, search Black Raven Cemetery to find the infamous Gem of the Lost Souls. 5,500, Jesus Christ. Find Ethan and then leave. So yeah, okay, relatively simple. Let's just go and do it, okay? Okay, not a map, but lots of light coming through the walls right up in my face and stuff. Man, I remember when it took more than instantly to come up with a menu back before New Dark. Those weren't the days. Wow. That's kind of interesting. Like, it's kind of neat looking. Wait a minute. This this cemetery reminds me of something. Does it remind me of, like, the one in Dracula? Or, like, it kind of... I don't know. The sky is trippy. It's, like, really bright. And this stuff's dark. I know that's kind of weird looking, but I actually kind of... I find that contrast kind of interesting. It's sort of like, sort of like what ac oh hey, it's a skeleton zombie. It's sort of like what accidentally used to happen in Doom when you'd get a invulnerability power up and everything, but the sky would turn white. So it's nothing at all like that because it's the opposite. But like, freaking whatever, right? Do I have weapons to be dealing? Oh, I've got a note from Argus. Holy throwing knife! I remember something like that from uh, Telltale Heart. I think. Let's see what have I got? Blackjack, rope arrow, sword, which for some reason is. Past the blackjack in my inventory. I think I have not been sneaking very well, but actually this guy makes it hard to tell. You know what I mean? Because uh, your, your eyes are focused, t attuned to the whiteness, and you can't really see the dark underneath. So it, while it kind of looks trippy, it's not that good for, like, being able to tell a thing. In fact, it's downright kind of irritating, but... Well... No. No, maybe not, I think. Because I'm blocking the sky out now, and I still can't see all that well. I don't think I have flares or anything. <laughs> What's with all these missions wanting me to use flares? Anyway, let's read the note. Garrett, find the Gem of the Lost Souls, and I will double the normal fence price. Beware, no one has ever returned from that forsaken cemetery. Old Man Malcolm is sort of an old hermit type, but you should be able to get around him as long as he doesn't know you are there. Once you have the gem, you know where I will be, Argus. Okay, well, let's test out a holy throwing now, shall we? Come on! Oh! Nice! Whoa, dude, did you see that? That the skin melted off the skeleton! Unless, unless I'm mistaken or something, but let's try that again. That's awesome! That is so freaking cool! Unfortunately, it kind of alerts people, and I uh, <laughs> wouldn't want that, would we? So I guess I'm trying to get in there at some point, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if these haunts would hold a key in their hands, but... I have to turn the brightness up. This is ridiculous. I can't see crap. That might be the idea, but I really don't find that to be entertaining, so... Yes, I'm going to turn the brightness up, and there's nothing anyone can do. Oh, I see. Even cemeteries must have bathrooms. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, caretakers are human, so yes, there's that. But, uh, you know, these guys are not human, and therefore, maybe I'm supposed to just sort of kill them and stuff. I mean, presuming that at least haunts can probably still... Whoa, their faces are weird and different and creepy and dead and rotten. Man, oh 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 man. So I guess it's just sort of like every one of these graves, mostly, has got loot on it, except for that poor schmuck. He didn't have any loot. He lost it all at the gambling parlor, if that is what you call it. And so they buried him with a flower in a pot to to make sure that people remember and understand that if you have a gambling problem, you should call 1-800-DON'T-GAMBLE. Yeah. 
Did I start here and just didn't look over there? Possibly. <laughs> but that's, that's like a really weird thing. It's got a shovel and a pickaxe. I guess I dug my way down here like some kind of freaking cartoon character. That sounds pretty weird, right? Yeah, it almost looks like things are getting brighter. Man, I've got three holy throwing knives. Like, seriously, I could kill three of these guys for free, essentially. But there's a lot more of them than that. So, looks like I'm treating this like some kind of undead slaughter fest. Or something. They don't seem to be smart enough. <laughs> What's with these little tling, tling, tling sounds when I'm picking up water? Seriously, it's not loot from Thief 3. It's not even Thief 3. It's just some water arrows from Thief 2. This place is weird, man. Oh, hey, there's a key. I wonder if I can use it to bust open this gate. Yeah, people all seem to have been alerted, but they don't seem to generally care after all is said and done. So, uh, <laughs> not too sure what's the deal with that. But it's cool that there's a slow flapping bat there, you know, as opposed to a fast flapping bat. I guess uh, slow is more better for appreciating the gorgeous and wonderful earth in this here cemetery. Wow. Yeah, well, I've got a key. Maybe it's for this. Yeah, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Purple, red, and black. All colors are represented here. If I just had a modicum of extra carefulness, I would never have the problems that I keep having where I keep dying. That's a problem, right? I suppose it depends on if you believe that people should live forever and get utterly bored with existence or not. Because let's face it, as cliched as it is, you would be bored if you were immortal possible. Oh no, the key isn't for that because this is just open in the first place. So, yeah. Well, there seems to be extremely limited places I can go. At least... Yeah, it's not relocking it, so... What the deal? Well, there must be a lot more to this because 5,500 loot. I mean, I don't know how much have I got now. 775. Yeah, like... Well, there's this. Hey, you just kind of got to wait for guys to go by. <laughs> Imagine that. As a gameplay element. In Thief. Imagine it. It's crazy! Anyways. Oh, I can't close it. Well, this looks like he might be a caretaker. I don't know. No, maybe he's he's Malcolm. I don't remember who Malcolm is. Oh, yeah, Malcolm is the caretaker. So, great. He's not Ethan, however, so he's of no use to me. Hmm. My only friend. My diary. Not much going on here in the cemetery since the quake. Luckily, I had some food stored. It won't be long before another punk thief comes around looking for something that don't belong to them. I caught some punk in the old outdoor Johnny, but chased him away. I know how to leave this place, but all of my friends reside here, so no point. Friends? <laughs> no one seems to care about me here, but it is for the better. I keep busy in my secret caves. No one that I know of knows about the caves except maybe some dead thieves. Ha! Ha! I'm using the internet! I have more riches than I could possibly spend in a lifetime, but there's one thing for sure, and that is, I am the only one who knows where the Gem of the Lost Souls is hidden, and I know the secret will be buried with me. I should say, with me and my friends here. Ha! I'm using the World Wide Web! I am too old now to care about much of anything besides my work here. I manage to keep things as tidy as I can, and whittle away my time exploring. One of these days, I will fix the open grave so I don't accidentally fall down there. Tomorrow I will break the big rock up in the first cave and get my pickaxe back that I dropped in there mis by mistake. Speaking of which, my list of things to do in my treasure caves. 1. Break as many big rocks that I can find. Gold is where you find it. Gold is where you find it? Yeah, things are themselves. Get rid of all the rotten thief bodies because of the bad smell. I have enough pesky flies in my outdoor Johnny. Do something with that noisy portable lantern so it doesn't make such a clangy wake-up noise for the boneheads down there. Eat more carrots so I can see better in the dark. Yes, indeed. I think Garrett needs to eat more carrots. Carrot rhymes with Garrett, and I could probably work that into a really funny, clever rap rhyme, but since I've said it already, it's not going to be funny or clever. Find the map of the treasure caves. Find all ten secrets. Really? Mandatory? You freaking serious? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know why I put that sound. Explosive charge. So I'm going to have to be busting open something with an explosive charge, possibly. I'm guessing this isn't like in the original games where it's... No, wait a minute. It is mandatory in the original Thief Gold. Geez, so maybe it is or isn't going to be mandatory here. I don't know. I don't have any other keys, though. I just had that one. <laughs> Oops. So what open grave might a guy be sort of 
alluding to and stuff. I think I gotta look around for it. Damn it. It's dark is sometimes not dark and you can't really tell. That does tend to happen sometimes. Well, alright. Loot is, is good. Well, I guess I seem to be getting it at an alright sort of pace. Not really fantastic. Maybe one of these windows is open and I can snatch a key from one of them. I mean, I don't know. Two-trick pony do the same thing twice. Maybe. Uh, no, maybe not. Well, that bat seems to be following that guy. Can I just, like, take these guys down with normal haunts? Well, yeah, but then they, their skin falls off, which is like an awesome concept. But uh, then I die, which is not so much so. Well, there's this sort of area. Oh, okay. Well, kind of got this blatant guardian and sort of more loot. Oh, it's a zombie. Well, I can just put this guy down for good. Short him out for good. Don't hit me with your stupid hitting arm. God damn it, can I just reach through and... Yeah, at least for some of them. That seems like a much better idea than actually going inside, if, if we're being totally honest here. Well, I got 29 waters. Maybe I'll just put out these torches, which will make me see even worse, lesser, gooder. But at least they'll allow me to move around better, or so... Sounds like a good trade. Well, one cannot deny that this is a dead night. Although I don't know why it's such a sweet delight. Maybe I'm supposed to... Man, I have to hunt the key for... For that place. It's like the only grave without either nothing or, or loot on it. It's got like a flower thing on it. Well, the outdoor Johnny, as I guess this is, is not apparently important. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Wait. Wait. There's there's some gold that... Uh, which I mean loot. Yes, there's some... There's a purse up there. And, oh, hey, it's a treasure map. Nice. It is very sort of like thing shaped. So yeah, wow, wow, this place is big. I guess where I left my pickaxe, property of yeah, okay, dead man cave, shaft, mausoleum, not true magnetic north. What does that have to do with anything? Why would you put that there? Seriously, simplify. Rock I need to destroy. So I guess this is below. So until I get below the cemetery, I guess these aren't really related to anything. But yeah, how, how do I? Well, I mean, I know there was that, that cave that I found at the start, possibly at the start, with, uh, you know, with that pickaxe and stuff. Maybe I'm supposed to blow it open with, with the sunburst device. Actually, yeah, maybe. If I could ever remember what I read in any Let's Play ever, then maybe I would know if that was the case! Go away! Stupid Hans! You guys are super clever and neat looking, but man, you sure are uh, detrimental to my desire to not be dead. Well, this looks like where I started, but like, who knows? I guess I'll just place down my thing and sort of... And also, I don't know what's an empty grave. I mean, I didn't find any... <laughs> well, huh. Kind of blew open a couple of them, but no. Nah. Maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to just hit them with the sword. Because I still can't get into it even after I've blown open the... Weird. Oh, hey. This one. Well, this doesn't go in my inventory, but, uh... <sighs> Break as many big rocks. Oh, bloody hell. Break the big rock up in the first cave and get his pickaxe back. Wait! Ah, he was carrying a key on him! What am I, stupid?! What am I, unobservant?! What am I?! What am I?! What am I? There we are. Presumably this is sacred for some reason because it's central. They both start with an S. Don't even argue because you're going to be wrong. What? There must be a secret in here. I had to get a key and everything. But uh, I should probably just lock these in case these guys want to come after me for some reason. Now, I could put these out, which would shut those guys up a bit, but it would also make it impossible for me to look for whatever secret switch might be in here. I mean, I get that it might just be loot, but then why the big deal about the key and stuff? Wait. Well, there's little dips in the ceiling. Oh, hey. God damn it! I thought that was loot because it made the bling sound for loot, but no, it's it's a holy throwing that. So now I could kill these guys if I... I could kill six of these guys, which might be all of the ones that are not just skeletons already. So that's pretty... 
good, I guess, but then they turn into skeletons and... Yeah. Yeah, fix the open grave so he doesn't fall in. I don't see any open grave here, but, you know, it's possible I'm just missing it because this place is dark and freaking hard to see. Wait, I missed something in there. Come on. Aye. Bloody zombie. Well, this is a first cave I ever saw one, and you did drop a pickaxe here, and I did manage to blow something up by chucking something there. Like, I don't know, I can't remember if you can make it blow up by throwing it like you can barrels. Evidently not, somehow. But... Uh, perhaps I'd best try and thin the herd ranks out a bit. Nice screeching and screaming, though. It's, it's pretty good. Skeleton screeching, it's pretty creepy. Yeah. Oh, what? It only takes one if they're unalerted. Well, bloody hell. So now I blew this up, and you, you can see that, like, a couple of these boards disappear, but you still can't get in, and I can't frob anything in here either, so I don't know. Time to turn the brightness up to unnatural levels and look for new stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Aha! I knew there had to be a seat. Whoa. That is fancy. Oh, so that's sort of a little indent in the ceiling is there. Totally makes sense and stuff. Oh man, I thought I saw a light flashing in, in real life, but no, I, I didn't. Well, this seems to be, like, impossible. I'm pressing forward, but... The hole is too small for me to get down, and I don't think I can... And I'm trying to drop down. <laughs> well, 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 whatever. When you're space constrained, you're space... Oh, I guess that's if you somehow manage to get in here. That's good design, apparently. If you somehow manage to get in here without having the key, you, I guess, want to have a key. So now I'm in the... Now I'm in these caves where the map isn't even a proper map. I actually have to look at it like that. That's kind of weird. But, uh... They, okay, there's the shaft of the mausoleum. Okay, so... I, I don't know if I alerted anybody down here, or if it's just... No. Oh, boy. Okay. No picking up and dropping of nicely modeled skulls shall happen here. There's a floating lantern. I guess that doesn't really make a tink when it hits the floor, because it doesn't hit the floor, because as I've just said, it is floating. I couldn't make it to my pit quick enough before that little bonehead thrashed me. I'm sure that this big rock has something behind it. What, that big rock? Okay, well, I've got one sunburst device. I mean, I guess do I get to choose where to use it? Because... That... I left it up there! Oh, Jesus Christ! God. Alright, well, okay, so... On the map, I... It should just be a regular map. I don't have to keep scrolling around. So, I'm there. Then I go there. Rock I need to destroy is there, apparently. Or somewhere. There seems to be a dual-ended arrow. Oh, that's where he left his pickaxe. So yeah, the first cave was where I came in and it wasn't anything to do with anything. So if I keep heading this way, I should be now in the second chamber past here. So I'm there. But it says the rock is there. So... But... What? What's that? It's a skeleton buried in a roof. And if I jump up... To try to snatch his thing, then I'll get heard. So that's where that skull on the floor came from. Then, okay, then. Well, perhaps if I cheaty McCheater, and or even if I just sort of stand on a thing here. Oh, come on. As long as that's only scripted and doesn't alert anybody, I suppose that's fine. I don't. Oh wait, it it causes this guy to appear. So I guess I'll get that last. Okay, well, this map seems to be slightly <laughs> inaccurate. And also, this thing makes an enormous noise, even from just a tiny freaking thing, so... Come on. Well, that didn't do anything. Okay, well, I'm rather confused. Because... I can kind of go north this way. And then I'm there. The rock is there with a star, right? But there's nothing... There's nothing there, unless it's on an upper level. I mean, it's just like a bunch of small rocks. Unless it's that one. But that looks like it's part of the background and not an object. I can't see crap! Uh, 
If I put the lantern down, it's gonna make a noise and alert people. That's not fair. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, there is this... Up but then my steps are gonna alert people anyway. There is this upper level, so... Maybe... Oh, I can kind of reach my head through there. I'm just getting more puzzled because now there's two layers for some reason. Well, at least that guy doesn't pop and appear walking when I take his purse. It's only the crowns that do that. All right. So there's not really two layers. There's just sort of kind of is, but not really. All right. Well, maybe, hmm, maybe I'd best leave it here for now because I've been playing for 20 minutes. So next time, I guess I'll sort of try to explore more before I... What? Before I be too hasty and do something hasty. Yeah, so see you guys later, and bye for now.